20 tips and tricks for block fruits PvP that will guarantee to make you better. Observation tricking. I should probably follow this advice, but just knowing where your opponent in is in battle is nice, but like, once you know their location, you can just look at them without observation, and once you're in a combo, you can just observation trick. I'll leave the uh, link to the wiki in the description of which uh, moves observation brick and which don't for all the fruits and weapons. It's pretty helpful. Always have hacky on. This is one I also need to follow because you can see in my videos that I normally forget. If you don't have your hacky on then it makes them immune to your fighting style and sword if they have it on. Unless you both have hacky off then I guess it's all good. Try to see what moves extend your combo like if you're making a combo. For example using a spiky trident and then Solgatar Z into Solgatar X just lets like 50% of your moves come back to a uh, combo extend. Dashing constantly. Walking in battle without uh, comboing just makes you look like a bit silly to be honest. Whereas if you are dashing then they will attempt to go in front of you and then catch you lacking to use a combo. But if you are awake then you can just pull a psych, psych and go the other way. Keep high ground if possible. Tell me what an ice user using CDK is going to do when your feet are not touching the ground. They're going to use their soul guitar, but you're probably going to be too high up for that. Although they're lacking the chromosomes and brain cells to do that. Don't be afraid to PvP because you only get good with experience. You don't get better if you don't try, I guess. That's why if a person has more bounty, they have a better chance of winning because they have more experience. If you lose bounty, then I guess there is always... <coughs> testing games. Let's see if Ended fruits is low bounty. What's the opponent going to do? Cry about it because the 2.5 million's beating them? High chance you are a rookie with PvP. Uh, so if you're out here maining control as a 2.8 million, then I don't know what to say, honestly. I recommend Dor as it is very easy to use. I do not recommend Kitsune or Leopard as they are very expensive. No other reason. Trust me. When starting, use the fruits with easy combos like Dor's, I said. Or Ice. Definitely don't have a video on that. Not kit soon. If you have the Robux to get a perm, I hate to say it, the combo in this game is kind of skilled. If you are going to do the kit soon combo, you need at least two brain cells instead of the 0.2 brain cells you have remaining just from the grind to max level. Get to max level before you start PvPing. Right, let me have a little shout here. You f dumbasses PvPing at level 1723. Just makes you look like a complete because you gain absolute fuck all so go grind you absolute stick to one fruit at a time because if you're salty that you lose bounty with an expensive fruit and you eat one of your cheat mains then you will regret it when they leave the second you switch and then you feel like absolute <laughs> like the last one don't waste fruits because you might need it later on finish most if not all puzzles for example, V4, Solgata, CDK, because V4 will absolutely carry your ass and save your life with the iframes. Solgata is one of the best combo starters. CDK, I have no comment on. It does a lot of damage. Use combos. What are you going to do with chip damage where you're doing like 3k damage every 30 seconds while you're out here taking 11,000 of your 12k HP in one combo that happens every like minute or less? Yes, I'm talking to you, Fruits with Transformation, you little c Don't be scared to use fighting styles if it has higher potential in a combo. E-Claw, Sharkman, Deathstep, and Dragon Talon are complete OP if you know how to use them. I'm not saying all moves are good, but a little chip damage never hurt anyone. Use a good race for your fruit. For example, Doe and V4 is completely broken brain dead because you can't get your V cancelled so they are stuck there until you resume the combo or it runs out and you are standing there like a complete lost child. And then they just pull a one shot combo you at the speed of sound and you just all F4 like an average human. Use builds you like even if they call you brain dead. This shows that they are salty. The only time it is brain dead if you are maining Doe with the easy combo Leopard spamming kit soon as a 30 million bounty. Otherwise, do as you will. Try to get perm fruits. Get perm fruits of uh, fruits that you need. I don't recommend the cheaper fruits because they are easy to get. You literally just have to spin once and you can practically get it. 
unless you're unlucky like me. But if you have a couple kitsunes or dragons lying around, why not have a good try at like a perm portal or something? I do recommend you keep dragons until rework though. Get mastery on your weapons and uh, because every three levels means one stat point, which is basically free damage. And if you have it zero mastery, then what your M1's gonna do? I use unconventional tactics to level up swords. Like I mean. If you have the willpower to uh, AFK more than three nights with a gun to level it up, be my guest. But I recommend you use swords or your internet bill will be not stonks. And also use an elemental fruit. Get a friend to uh, help you learn PvP. If you are like me with no friends, then go watch a video. I mean, that's what you're doing right now. So good job. It helps you see what you are doing wrong and what you can do to improve. Nobody's perfect. Expensive doesn't always mean better. You will see examples of people using god tier fruits like Flame, which is one of the lowest value fruits in the game, beating Kitsune, which is the most expensive as of the moment. I mean, unless you are a giga chad using Rocket to beat Kitsune teamers, then hats off to you, but what I'm saying is that it isn't the fruit it's good, it's you that's good.